Hi there, in this video I will talk about the Tableau internal machine algorithm linear regression. And as you can see, the objective of linear regression is to fit the best line by minimizing the errors. So here we have an example where we have age on x-axis and we have salary on y-axis and as you can see this is basically indicating that age is increasing and uh, if you see the salary the y-axis you will see that salary is also increasing so that's a simple example I wanted to show you to give you an example of linear regression so idea behind linear regression or the assumption is that the two variables of our interest for which we want to do the prediction they should be linearly correlated now in this case you can see they are positively linearly correlated there may be scenarios where they are negatively linearly correlated so if that assumption is met then we can go ahead and fit the linear regression so to fit the linear regression we can use tableau internal machine learning algorithm and so what i'll do is I'll go to Tableau. Here, let me open the Tableau. And what I have is as a sample data set is this Boston housing data set. What it has is the price information in thousands of dollars for the different apartments based on the uh, these parameters like the crime rate in that locality the number of rooms per dwelling, the age group in, in that uh, locality, and uh, tax and PT ratio, so different parameters that we have. So what our uh, objective is to uh, predict the price based on these different parameters. So what we can do is, say number average number of rooms are a uh, pretty good idea about uh, what the price should be generally we look at whenever we go and look for any apartment we see number of rooms and then see whether the rent or the price of the entire apartment making sense or not so we will take these two variables and see uh, whether we can fit the linear regression all right so here i have the tableau i will click on the text file and i will put the boston data set over here and uh, this is the Boston data set, the same one which I showed you over here. Once it is there, I will go into the sheet. And once I am here in the sheet, what I can do is I can take the RM, which is average number of rooms per dwelling. So I can put it in the columns. So we don't need the sum, but what we need is the dimension. And then what we have is the price I will put the price here and what I'll do is change the visualization to the linear and if you see as the average number of rooms are increasing the prices are fluctuating and giving us an indication that it is increasing linearly so to fit the linear regression over here we need to go into analytics tab and here we have the trend line which will basically fit the these data points by minimizing the error so I will just take it and put it over here on the linear as you can see you have other you know algorithms like logarithmic exponential polynomial so what I'll do is I will put it on linear for now so now this linear regression line is fit and if I over my mouse over to the line you will see this equation which saying price is equals to 9.15176 multiplied with rm that means the num as the number of rooms are increasing uh, the it will be multiplied with the 9 uh, as it has identified it as a slope of the line plus minus 32.0593 is basically an intercept which is indicating if average number of rooms are constant then whether the price will continuously increase or decrease so in this case it is saying it is relatively decreasing so with the help of this equation you can basically find the uh, the based on the number of rooms you can find the price then also you have r squared value 
which is saying 0.29 that means with the help of this average number of rooms variable you can only explain 30 percent of this data now this value is not good because uh, r square value which is somewhere around 80 85 percent or 90 percent that means whatever error that it is it has identified it can explain that error at least by 80 percent right now it is explaining the error only by 29.5 percent so our model is better or the linear regression model is better if r square is uh, value is high which indicates that it can explain the error in a in this with the help of this model and the p-value is indicating that whether this uh, variable is significant or not so in this case the value is uh, less than 0 0.05 and that's the threshold you really need to remember that uh, if it if the value is less than 0 0.05 then you will accept this otherwise you will reject this after fitting the trend line what i can do is add the reference band to get a confidence interval because uh, whenever we are predicting giving just the actual prediction value does not help uh, because there is an error so what we really need to do provide the upper boundary and lower boundary about how much it can vary it so what i can do is right click over here and click on the edit trend line and here i have the show confidence bands and i'll click ok apart from these uh, confidence bands what you can do is you when you are here on the line you can right click and you can even click on describe trend line and this will basically give you the equation the p value of overall model and then the rm variable the intercept and then again the p value for both these ones you can even copy and paste it in some presentation if you want the last piece is uh, describing the trend model and here you will see the different uh, labels like model formula number of model observation fitted observation number of filtered observation model degrees of freedom all of those are statistical parameters of your need as well as the same uh, similar type of uh, statistic we sh we saw in the previous uh, screen which was a bit small but here uh, it's pretty extended like sum of squared error which is also called explained error the mean squared error which basically helps in calculating whether this model is performing good or not that means the uh, average error in the model then by adding or removing variables you will see the value will go up or down so lower the value will be the better the model is that's kind of a nutshell the idea is so you can also uh, if you are really interested in in the statistic then you can also you know use use the statistic as part of uh, your presentation and for it so that's pretty much about it about how you can create a straightforward linear regression model uh, into the tableau and uh, fit a line get a formula as well as the confidence band just to see uh, at a 95 degrees of 95% uh, uh, degrees confidence interval what the band will be but as you could see this is not where this process end because this is a pretty exploratory process where we look at different variables so so far we have looked at only the rm but in the future videos i will show you how we can even look at multiple variables and on that statistic the r squared how we can really increase it to a respectable level so that you are able to get the better model with the lower mean squared error so those are the two parameters r squared should be good somewhere around 80 or 90 percent and the mean squared error msc should be less for your model and that can be compared by adding more variables